Hey guys, back for another video of urinary system histology. And I almost finished the kidney last time on the first one. Didn't quite do it. Got really close though. One slide. So what I got here is a zoom in on the renal cortex, but just the blood vessels. Okay. And I can see lots of good stuff. I can see a glomerulus right there with that G on it. That, of course, is a ball of fenestrated capillaries where filtration is going to happen. I can see my afferent arteriole bringing blood to that glomerulus and my efferent arteriole taking blood away. Notice the immense size difference between the A and the E ferrant arteriole. What this is going to do it is going to increase pressure in the glomerulus and that pressure in that glomerulus is going to drive filtration. Now from my efferent arterioles, we are going to see lots of its branches. So all of these guys are paratubular capillaries, capillaries surrounding the proximal and distal convoluted tubules, capillaries where we're going to be reabsorbing good stuff from the filtrate and secreting bad stuff into it. All right. Awesome. We're done with the kidney. No, we're not. There's one more. Thought we were done. That's how it always is. You think you're done, then there's one more thing to do. Got another glomerulus here. Look at it. Beautiful. And I see it's afferent arterial right there. There we go. Now we're technically done with that one. Hey. Okay. Now we're on to the urinary bladder. We are looking at the wall of the urinary bladder. So from here all the way to here is the wall of the urinary bladder. We are going to have a mucosa to that urinary bladder. So there's going to be a mucosa up here. So the whole length of that arrow there is a mucosa. Then there is going to be a muscularis externa, so a smooth muscle layer. And then there is going to be an outer adventitia. So that last little green arrow there. So I got my mucosal layer. I got my muscularis externa layer. And remember from the gross anatomy labs that the muscularis externa is also called the detrusor muscle because it detrudes or expels urine. And over here I got my adventitia. Remember an adventitia is an anchor that attaches an organ to other neighboring organs. All right, done with that. Boom, let's zip on through. Here I have a beautiful mucosa. There are several things I can see, starting with the epithelium. This is a transitional epithelium. Remember, transitional epithelium has the capacity to stretch. Then we got a lamina propria, connective tissue underneath, and then we have our detrusor muscle. We see a chunk of it right here. Big smooth muscle layer, which is going to detrude the urine. All right. Zooming in, we can see that transitional epithelium. Notice that that transitional epithelium is, of course, a stratified epithelium. Now, underneath it, we are going to have this layer that is composed of connective tissue, it is the lamina propria. All right. Another view of a different urinary bladder here. A little bit messier one, but it's all right. We can see the transitional epithelium right there. And then we can see our lamina propria up there. Got a lot of fragmented connective tissue in here as well. And then down here, all this is detrusor muscle. Okay. Good, 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 good. Zooming in on the epithelium here. This is transitional epithelium. When we zoom in, we are going to see the characteristic. The characteristic dome-shaped Cells are called umbrella cells because they kind of look like an umbrella. This guy is binucleate, which is amazing. 
So there is an umbrella cell right there. Just imagine there's the handle of the umbrella. And then there's a person who is holding on to that umbrella. He's kind of leaning back because of the wind. There we go. He's unhappy because he's studying for anatomy and physiology class. And he's in the rain. He's wearing a hat. All right. Where was I? I have no idea. Transitional epithelium. There we go. Strata epithelium made of dome-shaped umbrella cells. See these guys right here. They have the capacity to flatten out and therefore to stretch, which is good for storing liquids. All right. Hate to do this, but there we go. Let's keep on going. Because we're done with the urinary bladder. This is a ureter. Notice the collapsed star-shaped lumen. We are going to see transitional epithelium in here. We're going to see a little snippet of lamina propria. And we are going to see a double muscularis layer. And then some adventitia on the outside. A lot of adipose tissue out here as well. So that is a beautiful ureter right there with all the expected layers. Nothing surprising. Here we have another ureter. Again, we are going to have our transitional epithelium, a little bit of connective tissue lamina appropriate underneath it. And then we're going to have a lot of nice, smooth muscle in here as well. Again, check out the shape of that lumen. Always gets that like asterisky shaped lumen. Super. And now, one more organ to do. That is the urethra. We obviously have a male urethra here. Because as you can read, this says cross-section for the penis. When we look at a penis in cross-section, we're going to see three erectile tissues. There's two big dorsal ones. Each is called a corpus cavernosum. So there are two corpora cavernosa. And then there is a single ventral erectile tissue called the corpus spongiosum. Erectile tissues are filled with vascular sinuses that can become with engorged with that can become engorged with blood, leading to a an erection. And in the middle of the corpus spongiosum, we are going to see a kind of squished tube that is this penile or spongy urethra. All right, let's see if we can zoom in on that a little bit. So now here we just have the corpus spongiosum. We don't see the cavernosa. I do see a lot of vascular spaces in this corpus spongiosum. I do see my connective tissue on the outside. Connective tissue on the outside to anchor things in place. And then right here is the urethra. So I'm not going to confuse the urethra with the ureter on the lab exam because of all these of all this vascularization. Okay, sweet. I think we've got one more urethra to look at. There it is. Still spongy urethra. I'm only showing you guy urethras today. I see my my vascularization here. I see my urethra right there. Beautiful. All right, folks, that, I think, is it for the urinary system histology. Excellent job, everybody. See you next time.